Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to learn concept of partial derivatives. We will also see couple of examples on it. Let us first understand the derivative in terms of ordinary and partial. We perform ordinary differentiation if function is of only one variable. That means there is only one independent variable. And we perform partial derivative only if the function is of more than one variable say f of x comma y here x and y are two independent variables we denote ordinary derivative of f with respect to x by df by dx whereas partial derivative of f can be performed with respect to x as well as y when we perform partial derivative of f with respect to x it is denoted by daba f by daba x notation and partial derivative of f with respect to y is denoted by daba f by daba y notation. Similarly, second order derivative of f with respect to x is given by d2f by dx square when f is function of only one variable x and second order derivative of f with respect to x is denoted by daba 2f by daba x square. Similarly, second order derivative of f with respect to y is given by daba 2f by daba y square and derivative of daba f by daba y with respect to x is given by daba 2f by daba x daba y. Now let me explain you how to perform partial derivative. To understand this, I would like to explain ordinary differentiation with the help of one example. Let f of x be equal to 3x. Then df by dx is equal to 3. We differentiate f with respect to x and 3 was constant. So df by dx here is 3. Now coming on to partial derivative. Note that if we perform partial derivative of f with respect to one of its variable say x then we have to keep other variables involved in f as constants. For example, if f is a function of x and y defined as x into y, then daba f by daba x is given by y. Note that here we are differentiating f partially with respect to x, so we have to keep other variables constant. So here the other variable is y, we are treating it as constant, so differentiating x alone we get daba f by daba x is equal to y. It is the same way we get 3 here in the in case of ordinary differentiation. Similarly, if we find daba f by daba y by treating x constant, then daba f by daba y value is just x. Let us see another example. Now we consider f of x to be x square then derivative of f of x with respect to x is 2x. Consider another example of function of two variables f of x comma y b x square y. Then daba f by daba x treating y constant will be 2xy. Similarly daba f by daba y by treating x constant will be only x square. Now let me show you some more examples. In this example, r is given as a root of x square plus y square and we are asked to find daba r by daba x and daba r by daba y. So let us draw a tree diagram for this. Here we see that r is a function of x and y. So clearly r is a function of more than one variable. So derivative of r with respect to x or y will be partial. So let us first differentiate r with respect to x partially keeping y constant. So daba r by daba x will be 1 upon 2 root of x square plus y square into by chain rule derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x treating y constant. It will be just 2x. This 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So we have daba r by daba x is equal to x upon under root x square plus y square. But under root x square plus y square is r, so we say daba r by daba x is x by r. Similarly, daba r by daba y 
can be given by y by r consider another example here z is defined as x raised to y plus y raised to x we have to prove that daba 2 z by daba x daba y is equal to daba 2 z by daba y daba x so here z is a function of x and y so its derivative with respect to x or y will be partial let us first differentiate z partially with respect to x keeping y constant so daba z by daba x will be y into x raised to y minus 1 plus y raised to x into log y note that since y is constant so you can consider this as some number so the way we differentiate x raised to n we have to differentiate x raised to y so we get y into x raised to y minus 1 plus similarly again some number raised to x derivative is number raised to x into log number so we have y raised to x into log of y now we differentiate this daba z by daba x partially with respect to y to get daba 2 z by daba y daba x to differentiate this term we have to apply u into v rule so keeping this x raised to y minus 1 as it is derivative of y with respect to y is 1 so we have first term x raised to y minus 1 plus second time keeping y as it is derivative of x raised to y minus 1 is x raised to y minus 1 into log x note that this differentiation is with respect to y now coming on to this second term differentiating this second term with respect to y we get x into y raised to x minus 1 into log y as it is plus second time keeping y raised to x as it is log y derivative is 1 by x so we have y raised to x upon y which is y raised to x minus 1. Now let us differentiate z with respect to y. So we have daba z by daba y. Here is our z. So derivative of x raised to y is x raised to y into log x plus derivative of y raised to x is x into y raised to x minus 1. Now we differentiate Z, daba z by daba y with respect to x to get daba 2 z by daba x into daba y. So we differentiate this term with respect to x. So derivative of x raised to y is y into x raised to y minus 1 keeping log x as it is plus derivative of log x is 1 by x keeping x raised to y as it is we have x raised to y minus 1. Note that we have applied u into v rule here to differentiate x raised to y into log x. Similarly, we will apply u into v rule here to differentiate x into y raised to x minus 1. So first keeping y raised to x minus 1 as it is, derivative of x is 1. So we have y raised to x minus 1 plus second time keeping x as it is, derivative of y raised to x minus 1 is y raised to x minus 1 into log y. Now we label this as 2 and this as 1. Observe that right hand sides of these two ex equations are same. So their left hand sides to be, has to be same. So we say daba 2z by daba y into daba x is equal to daba 2z by daba x into daba y. Hence proved. I hope you understood what is partial derivative and how to find it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.